Hello, I am Satsulis Noguera Serrano, President of the European Bui Society, and I have the, the pride of having here uh, a conversation with uh, Sidoshi Alfredo Tucci, and it's in my companion he, right, right here. We are discussing today uh, concerning Kyujutsu and the difference between, uh, between what is the war purpose of Kyujutsu and the most uh, ceremonial focus part of Kyujutsu. Then we were discussing here, and I am ready for all the questions that uh, Alfredo Shidoshi is going to, to ask me. Please. Okay, uh, one point uh, I think it's important to, to share with people is the difference between the arcs of the uh, traditional Japanese arc and the, the traditional uh, Aino. Yes, it's a very good point to start with. First of all, we have here two, two bows. The first one that we have here is a precious, a nice Daikyu, that it's the most common uh, Yumi, the most common uh, bow in the Japanese tradition. But we have to remember that our tradition comes from a uh, tribal and, uh, and uh, an ancient lineage that is more linked to the Aino people. These Aino people uh, were using Indian's bow that is more a symmetrical bow, not an isometrical that we have here for the Japanese tradition. And this kind of, it's, this is not an Ainu bow, this is not uh, the, the, the particular bow that we need to, to practice, but it's the most close idea that we could find right now in our nowadays. And this was employed for all tradition for war purpose. Then we have explained in several videos before regarding the ways to use this, uh, this kind of bow that it's called, uh, that it's called hankyu, middle bow, in the Japanese tradition too, because they have to, this, and was uh, different shots, different fires for a uh, war purpose. Daikyu, it's uh, only employed for the most ceremonial, the most uh, celebration, and, and for harvest purpose uh, idea of the of the of our tradition of the season. Actually, I said arc, but this is a bow, right? Yeah, both are right. Both, both are okay. Okay. Well, also it's important you speak the difference between the size and and the, the materials to make the elbows. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, it's a very good Arrows. question. So this is the ya, yeah, that is the arrow. Uh, this is a traditional ya yeah, that it's uh, it's made from bamboo. It's uh, take uh, made, and it's employed for this daikyu because this is a long harrow. I mean, maybe it's one meter long, and it's the one that it's employed for a middle size, a middle measure man, a middle measure bowman that needs to open completely the, uh, his, his body to this point and still needs to have uh, the tip, the tip of the arrow need to overpass uh, his, his arm. Then we need to open to this point. This is not, this is not employed in a hankyu that has less, uh, less string and of course Employing this type of arrow, it's lesser and it's a more modern uh, arrow. This is not a traditional one, it's made of carbon. And of course, the durability is uh, higher and it's uh, <clears throat> quite more easy to find in, in nowadays. Then, of course, in this, in this case, we won't go to the same point because we will throw from this and we don't need because if we pass, of course, the yeah will will fall because we don't have, we are putting in this, that point and we are not having a stopper in order it's our, our finger that it's stopping the yeah not to fall down to the ground. But also in, in, in uh, our tradition from, from, from Shizen people, the spiritual side, the Ebuntu, uh, 
we have, I think it's important to share this with people, we have a kind of uh, special ceremonies regarding to some Oni. Yeah. And I think it's it could be very nice if you can explain a little bit about the anthropological part of this uh, point. Thank you very much. This is a very rich in cultural side uh, uh, question. Why? Because one of the most important things of the tradition is the cultural side, the cultural part of the school. Uh, in the in the village, the villagers used to uh, uh, develop these kind of ceremonials in order to change the 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 motion of the life, because sometimes they were in risk, because the some oni, some demons, as it's understood, uh, used to uh, to interfere in their lives then they believe truly that uh, making a ceremonial shot, rounds of shots, will kill this Oni or will make them uh, run away from that position. Then this is a very particular uh, ceremony that it's only explained in Ebunto part and only developed for the most uh, rich schools that we have because it's a very risky situation because as they believe the, uh, the bowman will shoot deeply, will raise his voice in order to call the Oni. And after this, the Oni, it's believed to, uh, to turn his face into the bowman. And this is the right point in order to, to, to throw the arrow. And that's the point. They employ in this, they employ a uh, fan because they used to use the fan open and this was representing the Oni, representing the demon. Then the idea was when the bowman tried to perform a war throw, it's not some, it's a ceremonial but it's not a step by step. Ceremony. You need to be fast. It's active. It's really yeah. active. You need to be uh, and accurate. Difficult. difficult. Very difficult to be done. It's difficult because you need to, at the same point, move yourself very fast, put in the right point the arrow, put uh, place properly the arrow, move the the bow, sorting at the same time while you are doing all this motion, and after this, you have sought you <laughs> inspire by this soundy, uh, soundy way, and after this, when you have, you suit, and you need, of course, to, to reach the, 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 the target, that is in this case, in this case was the fan, and of course, it's far away. If you fail, of course, the village could be in a very risky situation, because the Oni has been called and not been killed, yeah. not been yeah. run away. Then, in this, they need to perform by three bowmen. They need to make uh, four rounds of, of throwings because they kill four Oni. And this Oni, uh, they believe that they were the ones that caused the most difficult situations in the life of the season, the life of the people. Uh, sometimes they believe that these <coughs> This, uh, this ceremony needs to be consecrated by the fire. Then they used to employ the arrow with the tip uh, fire on, and when they shoot, they throw the arrow, they need to not only reach the, reach the fan, but also put in fire, put in flames the fan, and need to be extinguished. Then you need to reach the four, the four oni, the four fans, and all of them put into arrows. Some of them were employed for water, some of them for, for uh, the element air and the element earth. Because in the element earth you need to take care that the arrows not be in the... In with the, you. It with must you. be on the place on the floor. On the place you need to throw and they will be uh, pure on the ground, pure on the, on the soil. One of the interesting points that uh, happened through this ceremony is that uh, the, each one need to have covered the, the mouth with a paper, piece of paper. So far, the only 
when this coal doesn't come into the mouth of the of the archer. Right. That, that's true. That's true. This is that's the way. That's the way because they believe that the oni, when <clears throat> someone has put the attention of the oni, because the oni face back in order to to watch what it's calling him. If they uh, see that the, the the one that it's calling is with the open mouth and you are reaching with the arrow, he will try to go there to the to the boys. And if you put the paper, the mouth is it's it's hidden, yes. it's hidden, and it's un they can't find a way. They can't find a way. Then the only capability that they could it's to escape, to run away from that situation. Then they they leave uh, because uh, the arrow has pierced the, the bubble, has pierced the, the the target, and this is a a very a nice, very rich cultural. Uh, in a cultural side of our tradition, and it's something that it's very well, uh, very well uh, keep by by our tradition. And many many anthropology people try, anthropologists uh, try to learn because it's something that only a real tradition, a real culture, it has. Because this is the the things that. Uh, you need to keep, no? Uh, it's it's the, the, the best way to keep the tradition to know these particular sites of the school. Very nice. Thank you very much for this uh, speaking about all this explanation about the, the tradition. I think it's a very nice moment to go ahead with uh, the explanations another day and we can leave it by, by here. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, you very much, uh, Shinoshi, for uh, asking me this question and helping to all our followers in YouTube to know a little more about our tradition. It's, uh, it's, uh, I am proud and happy for, for having you here asking me this question. My pleasure to the country. Thank you very much.